Well, well, well. Welcome in, everybody, to yet another Tim Bip live here on this Thursday night. So happy to see you guys in here. Welcome in. Welcome all. Very, very pleased to be sitting down with you again for yet another week. Mr. Donnie, the Linux cat himself, Linux cat, I'm trying to teach myself to say it the right way there, Donnie, our, our blue wrench for the evening, Wesley Zeller, Eric Black, Joseph Brazo, Bob from Bourbon Battalion, guys, welcome in, happy to see you all, very excited to be getting into these pours for the evening, I'm warming up a little bit of early times, bottled and bond as well as this West Coast IPA from Mile Wide Beer Company in Louisville, Kentucky. It's Mother Boy IPA. It's based off of a an Arrested Development reference. It's really quite good. It's quite good indeed. Uh, hello to you too, Joseph Prezo. Good seeing you, my friend. If you guys not have yet, it's not the way I wanted to phrase that, but if you haven't yet... I uh, hit the like button, the subscribe, the bell notification, all that good stuff. Please go ahead and do so, so you know when I go live every Thursday nights. It's always 8 o'clock. I mean, typically, it's 8 o'clock. But, hello, Clifton Bourbon Bites. Patrick Starkey's on his last day of quarantine over in New Zealand. Very happy to see that, buddy. Glad that you made it through. I'm hoping that your, uh, your Elijah Craig Barrel Proof survived at least a little bit. I mean, it's okay if it didn't. You know what I mean. Uh, anyway, if you're watching on the replay, thank you for so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Because we are not yet over a thousand subs on the channel, we have a system for super chats known as Snuffy Chats. It's available at the PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App links below. You can find all that in the description of the video as well as the bottom of your screen. And also, um, that is the, it's the wrong image for the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Let me change that. My bad. You think you have everything, everything good to go and just one, one little thing, man, just one little thing. But it's all good. It's all good. How is everybody tonight? Um, what's everybody drinking? Let me know. Uh, we have two Patricks in here. So we've got Starkey and Patrick with no last name. So welcome in, uh, non-last named Patrick. Good to see you in here. Matt Porter, Mr. ADHD Whiskey himself, has joined Good to see you, my friend, Fred Gilbert. <laughs> Bad Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Daniel Kerber. Hello, Daniel. Good to see you. He just popped up on Facebook as somebody I should be friends with. I need to, I need to do that. Zofer1920. Hello, Zofer. He's going to be back in a half hour. Or a half jour. If you're from the French-speaking region, for our French listeners. William Robarge Pear Bear drinking some port finished nonsense. Good to see you in here, Bill. Go follow our uh, <laughs> go follow our buddy Bill over at Beer Lovers Wisconsin. Beer Lovers W I on social media. Anyway, so yes, Cliff. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. Yeah, good enough. So Clifton is also doing basically this exact same stream in two hours. I didn't realize that until mm, about 15 minutes ago, and here we are. So <laughs> uh, no turning back now. I already had the plan. So sorry, Cliffy. Heather Starkey. Hello, Heather. It's good to see you in here as well. Uh, there's a man who's parading around as your husband without a last name. So Drink some bullet single barrel pick. Very nice, Eric Black. Enjoy that, my friend. Good to see everybody in here. We are doing pretty all right, all things considered, with our our viewers at the moment. And uh, should get. We need to find a way to get more people in here. I'm I'm toying with the idea 
I'll be back in 12 hours. <laughs> I, I'm toying with the idea, though, of doing a subathon next Saturday to try to push it up to a thousand subscribers um, at least. I know that's a tall order at the moment, but I, like I, I want to I want to make sure that you guys can do all your super chats right here. I know it's inconvenient to have to go to other platforms. So um, the more people that we get on board, the easier it's going to be for us to keep everything in uh, in this space. And you know, it is what it is. YouTube takes a little bit of money, but that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. People got to get paid too. Uh, so potentially on the 27th, we'll be having a stream of subathon, excuse me, here on the channel. Probably going to start about 12 noon, uh, and then just going to kind of go from there. So we will, we will certainly see. Other bits of business, business, business up top. If you haven't listened to this week's episode yet, go do it. My wonderful wife, Lucy, was my guest co-host this week. Swan is back next week. Finally, after a long, long, long break, I'm really, really happy that he's going to be joining me again uh, for next week's episode. We might have a guest uh, on next week's episode as well. I'm not entirely sure. But hello, Emily Chambers. Good to see you in here. Donnie, thank you for dropping all of the snuffy chat links in the chat. You can check that out right there. Again, it's in the description. It's at the bottom of your screen. There's so many places for you to do all that. Anyway... Why don't we? <laughs> Clifton's going to disagree with Perry and which is best, which means he's going to love that larceny. So full disclosure, I have already opened both of these bottles. And I mean, I get excited, you know, it is what it is. And automatically, not automatically, but pretty much right off the bat, I notice a significant improvement in this year's January-ish release of Larceny Barrel Proof. I was, I was shocked, because last year I was just very underwhelmed by it. So, this year, I'm, I'm very, I'm very pumped to get into this. Mash and Drum, hello Jason, what's up fella, what's up with you, my dude? Uh, I hope you had a good uh, stream last night with Mr. Alan Bishop, he's going to be on the, on the podcast here in a few weeks. As well, I got to interview him for Repeal Day, courtesy of Fred Minnick. Really, really cool interview that I got to do, along with a couple of other, uh, couple of other great distillers. America, by the way. Excuse me. Sorry, Matt. Like I told you on the show, I'm out of practice. So, here we go. Let's talk about Larceny Barrel Proof for a second. So, it is supposedly about eight years old. This batch, in particular, is 114.8. Um, it's about par for the course in terms of proof for these, uh, these bottles still getting you at about 60, $65, depending on where you can find it. That's about what retail is supposed to be. Uh, most places are selling it for, you know, 70 plus kind of in the same way that they're doing with Elijah Craig barrel proof where that gets up to say $85 in some cases, uh, maybe even over 100. I'm not the one who makes the rules. I don't make the rules here. I just let you know about them. So I had to turn my mic up a little bit so I could uh, have some more, you know, I can just be a little bit more flexible with getting around. Hello, Swan. Well, I was just talking about you. And is that Travis Wilson I see in here? Trevor Wilson. Travis Wilson. Who the heck is Travis Wilson? It's Trevor Wilson. Like I said on this week's episode, my brain is broken. I don't quite know why. But, uh, Bill Robards, when you think you're on Instagram and double tap a comment to like it and almost end up reporting it. That happens. That happens. I cannot believe I said Travis. What is wrong with me? I'm happy I caught it automatically, though. I wish YouTube had the raid feature from Twitch for live streams. It would help with transitions between live streams. I totally agree with you. Um, I would consider moving everything over to Twitch. But <laughs> that means I might have to dedicate a stream a week to just just uh, gaming, though. Which I'm not opposed to, but I mean, that's... 
you know, just something I would have to consider. But I'd do it. I would. I mean, I can earn more money there, too. Anyway. Oh, also, hashtag Snuffy Chats, hashtag uh, Snuffleupagus here, our man back here, Mr. Snuffy, gets a little cheers every time we do a Snuffy Chat here in the stream. <laughs> Feels like I just walked into an episode of Cheers and now you're singing the theme song in your head. Yeah, well, sometimes you want to go. Not, thing, not everything on Twitch is gaming. Oh, well. The more you know. <laughs> All right, so. Varsity Barrel Proof. 114 points. 8 proof. R it's seriously right off the bat. I enjoy the nose on this so much more than I did any of the three releases that came out last year. So far, the best ECBP of 2021 is the C918. Might make an appearance a little bit later on. Who's the same? Who's the same? But this is a lot more rich and deep. It's almost more decadent than anything that came from, from 2020 in terms of Larceny Barrel Proof. It always seemed to be a little thin. And like it just never had a good cohesion to it. Where it... it it really just missed the mark for me. And in this case, this is reading super, super well balanced. And the proof is definitely evident too. That's another thing that I was missing from all the releases last year of Larceny Barrel Proof. There just wasn't much of the proof that was showing up. And I know that it's not a, a, a an above 120 proof barrel proof, and that will happen from time to time. But it it felt it felt a little light to me all last year, so I'm I'm enjoying I'm really really enjoying the nose on this one. Uh, we will actually give this a full scored review towards the uh, towards the back half of the of the review, of course. Wow, we're already at thirty viewers. That might not sound like much, but that is quite a good deal for us here. I uh, on on the Tim Bip live. Yeah, I'm 32. Holy moly! Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. Um, if you've not been here before, I'm Perry. I'm uh, the host of this my bourbon po podcast. Uh, yeah, my goodness, kind of wasn't expecting so many people in tonight, but I appreciate you guys. Yeah, and we lost one. So there, there's a nice rich peanut note to it as well um oh hello eric black with the 25 dollars snuffy chat says happy snow day happy snow day to you my friend thank you so much all right because he gave us a, a snuffy chat that means we got to cheers it and we got to drink it so cheers everybody thank you all so much for being here tonight i really appreciate it this is awesome justin fisher my old percussion teacher from high school the heck man what this is Everybody give Justin some love. <laughs> Cameron Lochner just sitting here lurking. <laughs> Joseph, I might get flagged on YouTube if I say something like that. But, I mean, it could. It could. I'll show you a calf. How's that sound? It's a baby cow. That's what I was going to show. There are no happy snow days. Not when you're an adult. When you're an adult, there's no happy snow days. But when you're a, chi a child. I almost combined child and kid. <laughs> Bill, admittedly, I'm on here twice. Once on the TV and once on my phone, so I can actually comment. You're good, man. Nate787 was looking for a channel like this. I'm getting into the right bourbon taste. Nate, thank you so much for being here man welcome to the channel this is awesome uh check out the podcast as well it comes out every week <laughs> joseph to be fair joseph i was a guitar player before i ever took a percussion class and even then like i had the the, the rudiments of it but like i'm more uh, i'm just more of a guitar player so the internets are weird but gotta love them gotta love them indeed thank you all so much for being here i can't 
I'm going to be like a broken record by the end, of the end of the night, but I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I know I, I took a sip of this and I wasn't really paying attention to it, but it wasn't unenjoyable by any means. And the, the majority of what I was experiencing with it was just a very pleasant experience. It just really read, um, as a cohesive experience. It just, like I was saying with the nose, it just reads to be so full-bodied and complimentary of everything in and of itself. And I'm, I'm, I'm digging this year's release, man. This is right out of the gate. Larceny Barrel Proof has shown up and shown out in a way that it didn't do all of last year. And here's the, here's the thing, too. I, 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 have, to, I have to say this. I dunked a lot last year on Larceny Barrel Proof. And the reason that I did it was twofold. One, I just didn't like the product all that much at that point. I thought that they had a learning curve that they had to adjust to. And to be quite frank, they did it. The second point is, I had such high expectations for it. And in that way, I almost set it up to fail before I ever even tried it. There are basically no barrel proof weeders on the market at an affordable price like this everything else you're going to see at least over 80 dollars probably in the hundred dollar range and because of the pappy effect you see the attraction to these weeded products more and more and we needed something from heaven hill to punch above its weight class in the barrel proof weeded ring and truth be told as i said last year just didn't it didn't measure up none of them really stood out to me i thought everything was pretty even keel in terms of in terms of quality but this is a marginal step up from what they were doing last year this is what they should have been doing from day one of 2020 this is a spectacular bourbon and I don't see myself giving this much lower than a 15 out of 20. It, it's at the price for the proof. I know that availability is a little bit scarce. It's not as easy to find as some people would like. And I, I'm on the, I'm that same train too. If I could find it um, in, in this, this ballpark, then I would have more of an inclination to, you know, get excited about it. Um, but it just, uh, you know, again, last year just didn't do that for me. Um, Donnie does bring up Maker's Mark cast strength, 46 cast strength, and uh, Private Select. All of that is very true. And I, I apologize. I was totally looking over those. Um, Maker's cast strength. I need to do another barrel-proof weeded flight. I, it's been a long time since I've done one. And truthfully, I'm enjoying this more than I did Maker's Mark Cast Strength. At this moment. At this moment. See, here's the thing about Weller Foolproof, though, Donnie. It's so impossible to find that I can't even consider it in the same category. You either never see it on the shelves, or by the time that you even hear about the fact that it was on the shelves, it's gone. And you can already find it on secondary for eight times the price that you were able to get it for in store. Slight exaggeration, but my point's made. What I'm saying is, Heaven Hill had the chance to do something great. They flubbed it at first, and they course corrected, and now they've got a fantastic product. I am very much pleased with A121 Larceny Barrel Proof. It's rich, it's decadent, it's got a depth to it that I think should have been matched based, as, uh, based in the, the quality of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And it just, um, like I said, it showed up and showed out. <laughs> Jason disagrees with me. Probably still won't buy another. Here's here's the thing too. Like I, this has been open for a few days. I don't know, Jason, if you opened yours, uh, just for the, uh, just for your your episode, like right off the bat. But 
I I have had a couple of days for it to open and sip, and I'm I'm still trying to adopt the Fred Minnick policy of s- taste it at least a few times before you review it, and that's um. You grab three foolproofs off the. Did you mean to spell fool f double l? You messing with me, Joseph Brazo? I can't, you can't see my finger. It's waggling, wiggling and waggling, like a. Never mind. <laughs> uh, just trying to get caught up in the chat as well. I apologize. I know I missed a couple of. I know I missed a couple of comments. Isn't that unfair to compare larceny to Pappy? Um, not entirely if the product that's going to replace Pappy in this market is of quality. I mean, it, I don't think it's apples to oranges. I think it's apples to apples, honestly. Because, and, and yeah, one was mid-tier premium, if, even if we're just talking about regular Van Winkle. It was mid-tier premium, but if you can get the same value and the same quality for less money, then you should be able to put them in the same category, I think. this That's just my opinion. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know in the chat. Perry held his own for sure. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> did Eden give her, get her snuffy chat last week? Yes, she did, Joseph Brezo. Oh, Malcolm Brown, to be fair. I think that's what you were referencing. Uh, Jason, I had three pours before the review. While I agree the nose is way more appealing in this one, it was still thin on the palate for me personally. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Pappy is harder to find than Weller Foolproof. I don't disagree. Bob from Bird Battalion, never seen one in the wild. I don't think I've ever seen Larceny Foolproof in the... Or Larceny Foolproof, Larceny Barrel Proof. Or Weller Foolproof in the wild in the wild for that. Uh, I wish I could get either Barrel Proofs around here, but Booker's is everywhere. Booker's is still pretty prominent here in Kentucky as well. Um, Total Wine has a hard time keeping it in stock, but I think that's more of a dictation by the market than it is anything. Uh, secondary. Well, not even secondary. It's just the, the rumors around how... Uh, the price is going up and all that BS. But anyway, uh, let's get into the actual review of this. Let me take it. Let me take a bit uh, another sip, though. I mean, I know that it's older than Weller Foolproof and Makers and Larceny, but <laughs> making up new products too. But again, in this climate where people are trying to find a replacement for something like Weller or Van Winkle, it's impossible to do anything other than compare it to... To, to what its predecessors are. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's been created because of a certain gap in the market. And so, we have to then address what it is at its face value. Yes, age is an important factor in this, but at the same time, if we're limiting ourselves to just age and not overall quality, then... The, the entire argument is moot. The entire point is moot. You know what I mean? So, I, I just, I, I have a hard time not talking about it in the same vein, in the same ballpark. It's just, it's just me. That's just me. Uh, Joseph sent out two of the foolproofs in a rip 10 just to prove you're not a tater. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, let's just grab an old elk weeded store pick and end this debate. That's fine. Uh, above 100, I'm out on every getting every Booker's release. Agreed with you. Jason, still applaud Heaven Hill for bringing this to the market. It's a great option for 50 when wellers are ghosts for most. It's a good way of putting it, man. It's 
good way of putting it. All right. So let's talk review. So Larceny Barrel Proof, A121. The nose... I'm going to, I really enjoy the nose. I'm going to have to give it a four, man. I think it's really deep and really complex. And I I think that it's just presenting itself super well. Does it compare in a positive way to the palate? We'll see. But see, Eric, that's my point is that we should be comparing apples to apples. I'm not saying don't consider age. I'm just saying that consider the product as a whole. I think my point's getting lost here. You have to consider what is being placed in in lieu of this iconic product. And yeah, but you can consider age, but you can't only consider age. That's what I'm getting at. It doesn't make sense to just go, well, we've got a 23-year pappy and a six-year-old larceny, and never the two shall meet. But the six-year-old larceny doesn't exist without the popularity of products like these hyper-aged Van Winkles. And I'm not saying that 23-year-old pappy and larceny six-year 92 proof should be on the exact same playing field, but we have to talk about what these products are and how they relate to each other. That's what that is my point. Yes, age can be a part of the conversation, but it shouldn't be the 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 driving force. If we did that, then then we would completely destroy the boom and the industry. Because so much of what's on the shelf is primarily six to eight years. Maybe eight to ten, but the 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 point is, <laughs> we have to take it for what it's supposed to be, and then move forward from there. I'm not, and I'm not singling you out either, Eric. I apologize. I'm trying to make my point as clear as I possibly can, but I'm just getting heated about it because I think that it's one that people are tired of. They're tired of hearing in some regard, but at the same time. Uh, it's gonna, it's a conversation that's gonna go on for a long time. It's gonna go on for a long time. So four on the pat, or on the nose. <laughs> oh man, see, I still really like the palette. I'm gonna give it a 3.5, man. I think it's solid. Okay, my my score is going to be a little bit less than fifteen. I apologize, but um, nonetheless, it's um. <laughs> Perry making points here. I'm t- hey man, I I sorry Emily. I'm just I'm just speaking the truth, dude. Like I don't I don't know how any I don't know any other way to to make this point, like. I'm sorry. I I am deeply passionate about this conversation. And it's something that we have to kind of put aside in some regards if we're going to allow the bourbon boom to keep continuing. That's it. That's it. (laughs) I've got to stop talking about it or I'm never going to move on to the Elijah Craig. Um, Yes, please mash that like button. Please do. And thank you, Jason, for pointing that out. Yeah. Nose for palate 3.5. Finish is slightly weaker. I'm going to give it a 2.5. It doesn't have the the length that I would have liked to have seen from it, but it does it does hold on to some of the more pleasant notes. So while I like it, it does go just a little bit bitter. Um I hear you. I think a fair assessment of your like of one product would be what would a six-year pappy taste against any other six-year pappy. I don't hate where you are going. Fair, fair, man. That's totally fair. And, and, you know, 
in some regards. I, I might be conflating my point a little bit, but and even inflating it for that matter. But in some regards, Larceny is currently being viewed as the replacement for for Weller. Heck, even Maker's Mark at this point. I mean, there's no denying that people are looking for the uh, the 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 Weller replacement. So, is my uh, my quality down? I apologize if it is. Uh, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Speaking of age, I just grabbed a couple Knob Creek single barrel ryes that are over six years old. Is that a normal age for those? Yes, those normally don't get over like seven or eight years. Uh, six years is pretty typical for what you're going to see on the shelf for Knob Creek rye single barrel picks. So at this point, we're at 10 out of 20. And once we factor in the price category, oh, by the way, Nose palette finish price is my, my scoring system. Each category is out of five, and it's a total score. Uh, in uh, Total score out of 20. Yeah. Sorry. Love your passion and dude or a man in conversation is fine. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. I <laughs> I have I have to I I have to get passionate. I have to get excited about something like this. I need to smile and laugh. Hey man. I got criticized on the podcast for giggling too much, so I can't, I can't win. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Uh, so price, I said about $60, so we're going to mark that as like semi-retail. Um, again, you're, you're putting it in a category that's... Sorry, I don't know what that was. Kind of hard to to beat at this point if you've got a solid product and also one that um, is directly competing with some heavy hitters. Four, four out of five. It's a 14 out of 20 for me. Uh, again, I think they just absolutely stepped it up uh, with this one. All last year, the Larceny Barrel Proofs were scoring anywhere from like 10 to 12 out of 20, which is not a great score, you know? Um, 14 I consider to be a market improvement. And so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing where the rest of the, the year is going for large snow barrel proof. But this is where the fun begins. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Whoop. I turned my mic upside down and I did not mean to. Laugh helps the COVID go away. Then ha 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 ha. I don't have I don't have COVID. I just want to laugh. Just want a little laugh. Nope. Nope. Three times the charm. All right. So as you all very well know, I am a big fan of uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's one of my favorite bourbons of all time, specifically C918 being my favorite bourbon of all time. And so in this case, I got a little overzealous <laughs> and hit the bottle a bit more than I probably should have. But if that is not an indication of how I feel about this product before we even get into it, then I don't know what is. So we're going to do this along here together. A uh, little bit lower in proof than what we've seen from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof over the past couple of years. 123.6. And this is actually perfectly age stated at 12 years old. Uh, so as all Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs are. So don't judge me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like I said, uh, <laughs> I've been enjoying it, and I got another bottle on the way. Not from Heaven Hill, from somebody else. So, uh, it's good stuff, man. It's good. Let me grab a sip of water real quick, too. What's everybody drinking in the chat? We dropped the numbers a little bit. I apologize. Yeah, let me know what you're drinking. Pretty, pretty, please. And uh, we are just over halfway through the live stream maybe we'll go a little bit over i don't know i don't know so if you have not yet please hit the like button and also snuffy chats are still live up until the end of the show so yeah does the chat frozen have i frozen I haven't seen any comments in a while
No, you guys are just <laughs> you guys just got deadly quiet. Yeah, fair enough. There was a lot of thumb in that chef's kiss. That was that was less of a chef's kiss than me trying to get the bourbon that came off of the of the neck. Hi, Heather. <laughs> All right, so the chat's the chat's working fine. Chat's working fine. Lil's drinking tea. It's only eleven thirty-five. Nope. Comment. Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve Nine Year is, in my opinion, the best single barrel value available. I I I don't disagree with you, Scott. It was silent a bit. I was I was concerned. I thought maybe I turned everybody off with my weeded rant. <laughs> oh, B520 is your favorite? Justin, that's awesome. That is a really, really great bourbon. I really enjoyed all of last year's expressions. All right. I can't wait. Here's a comment about whiskey. Here's a love reaction to your comment about whiskey and a generic reply to your comment about whiskey. <laughs> All right, so 123.6 proof. It's a really cherry forward nose, which is not something that I would normally lean into and get somewhat excited about, but at the same time, it just reads so well with everything else that's surrounding it. There's a very nice cream note that I'm getting on the nose, too. Uh, there's some, some woodiness that presents itself, which, I, of course, is going to be expected with a barrel-proof bourbon. Um, but, yeah, it, it's it's got a nice depth and complexity to it. Um, a little bit later, I'm probably going to compare this to A120, which ranked very highly for me last year. But in the in the meantime, I'm I'm excited to to get into this one. I gotta give it a little swirl, a little swirly too. Nick Foles, what's up? Can I get flagged on YouTube for doing the Bud Light what's up commercial from the early 2000s? <laughs> I feel like I don't think I could. I mean, unless the... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, see, there we go. I needed the swirl because the swirl brought out some some uh, tobacco notes that I wasn't getting before either. That would be really, really good with a uh, with a cigar. But, ah, oh, we're buffering. Sorry, y'all. I hope it comes back soon. I apologize. Maybe you hit the refresh button on your computer. I don't know. I'm scared to change any of my settings on my computer because then I might, you know, drop the stream, which I don't want to do. You will flag me. Thank you, Swan. I appreciate that. Your uh, your commitment is ever present and not failing. So, true friend. <laughs> Actually, from Scary Movie. Oh yeah, that is. That's right. It is from Scary Movie. Has you in tears every time. Why do I associate it with the... It was in a Bud Light commercial, too, wasn't it? Why is that why I associate it with? Reloaded and it fixed it. Sweet. Donnie, I have a tech question for you later. I don't know if it's something that you can help me with. But it's just like... Doesn't matter. Talk about it later. Oh, the the audio never went away. Oh, that's good. That's good. Because that's the important part, I guess. If I'm going to rest my laurels on anything, especially as a podcast and a spinoff of a podcast, it's that the audio remains pristine. Or as close close to pristine as possible. it. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain stream smooth streaming. Ugh. Well, as long as you guys can still hear me, I appreciate it. Handle tech questions all day and sometimes night. Mm. <laughs> Man, that's solid. 
coats the tongue. It's sweet. It's got a really good oak blast to it right in the middle of the palate. And it kind of subsides into... Yeah, not on not on your end. It's all, I think it's on my end. Oh, they took it from the butt. Oh, oh, okay. So it's the other way around. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of depth on this one, man. I think the finish again is where this one's lacking. I think that it could with a few more proof points present itself just slightly better, but it's enjoyable. It's a really, really enjoyable pour. It's all good there. Awesome. Did I just tinkle? Was there a noise that made it sound like I tinkled? Because I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I went over to the litter box and relieved myself. <laughs> I've just been scaring Lucy. It's like, what happened? What are the cats eating? It's so much like a cherry cream saver. And again, the oak is very present, but it's, it is tasty. It's really, really good, man. And now I'm getting some of the heat on the finish. Okay, finish is starting to ramp up a little bit more now as well. Um, this is a pretty unique Elijah Craig barrel proof. I don't know if I would have been able to peg this in a blind, but it's, it's good, man. <laughs> I know, I know that's a generic way of describing it, but it's, it's quite solid. And again, if you can find it at 65 bucks a bottle, regardless of whether or not it's a well-renowned batch, an Elijah Craig barrel proof for me, is uh, it, it, it's a buy all day long. Always has been, always will be. And to me, I think this is doing a good job of showcasing the diversity that some of these batches can maintain, uh, especially with... <laughs> uh, especially with a master distiller like Connor O'Driscoll. I, I think that... Uh, He's really coming into his own. I think we're seeing what Connor can do as a master distiller and in in some ways as a a blender. Cherry you love, but with the cream less. Ah, well. Understandable. Understandable. I again Another really solid product right out of the gate for 2021. Heaven Hill is doing a a really good job with uh, with these releases this year. Both of these are easily a recommend for me. I know I haven't actually given the review yet for the Elijah Craig, but this is a hundred percent a a. A buy suggestion. A thumbs up. A recommend. Go get it. Gotta go get it. Uh, if you can, of course. All right, so let's get into this. Oh, there's now a cinnamon note that I'm picking up too? What the heck, man? This, this bourbon has done nothing but grow and expand since I first poured it. It has really opened up significantly as time has gone on. And man, I tell you, there's nothing like a good Elijah Craig barrel proof to round out your day. Through osmosis, I just parry poured myself Knob Creek. Perfect. <laughs> oh, Fred Gilbert with the next snuffy chat. $10 from Mr. Fred. He said, bought a bottle today, and if I can afford that, I can afford to send some love to the Ritter family 
Anyone else buy a bottle recently? Just saying, oh yeah, this isn't a super chat, so people can't see emojis. He had some winkies in there as well. But... <laughs> That's... Joseph, you're crazy. you crazy. Fred, thank you so much, buddy. Cheers to you. The message there was, did anybody else buy a bottle recently? That if you can justify that, you can justify a snuffy chat. I'm just saying, that's what Fred said. Osmosis, more like hypnosis. Amen to that. Okay, let's get into this, man. Let's get into the review for this one. So on the nose, as I said, it has really just evolved and become something in and of itself um, as I have let it sit open. I'm going to give it also a four, like I did on the, on the larceny. Um, <laughs> wink. Oh, you <laughs> weren't sure what the winky face meant? It's a wink face. I'm sorry. Why did I say winky? I'm going to get flagged on YouTube. i got to stop saying it. Um, <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Much like the Larsen, I think that it's really well balanced, and I think it's got a lot of good stuff coming from it. I think it's a lot of good stuff. <laughs> that is a lot from Justin and, uh, Justin's and Wine and Market. Hey, Papa Ritter's here. OG Papa Ritter. I haven't really like gotten into the Papa Ritter portion of my life yet i'm just i just like a dad <laughs> emily cracking me up over here and he's gone i'm gone again Ugh. all right bye everybody cheers z-man i don't know if you can hear me did the ice storm get us? I don't think so. Full buffer that time. Let's switch over to the 5G. Oh, snap. Am I gone? Am I dead? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it over? Am I back now? Okay. All right. Woo. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, swi I switched over to the 5G instead of the 2G. But hello, everybody. Sorry that it took so long for me to realize I was back online. But I'm very sorry. I, I very much apologize. Uh, what was I saying? Nose is a four. Uh Palette, I'm going to give a four as well. Oh, we had a big jump in viewers and then everybody left. <laughs> that was funny. Yep. Palette, I'm going to give a four as well. Uh, finish. Where is everybody going? What's happening? Hello? Oh, no. What's happening? It still says I'm live. Oh no. If anybody can if anybody can hear me. I don't know what's going on. 
I've I've completely lost control. <laughs> 